step back for just a second here and say, how did we get to this Bill Nye? Because I first learned about you, not through, because I wasn't quite young enough to watch you in the classroom, but I started off as a sketch comedy guy, and you were on Almost Live. And you were sometimes Bill Nye the science guy on that, and so how did that become a reality for you? Uh, well, man, so uh, as you may know, uh, I, friends of mine pressured me to enter the Steve Martin lookalike contest. And <laughs> what happened was, as we like to say, when I was in college, and this is gonna be relevant, really. Uh, when I was in college, uh, the guy who had been my freshman roommate, Dave Lax, he, uh, for some reason, he went into material science, I went into mechanical. And he came, he had this innovation, this new thing. He had cable television. Whoa, like, dude. And he came hurrying, like running over to my house. We lived near each other even though we weren't in the same classes. And he, you gotta see this guy, you gotta see this. And it was Steve Martin at the boarding house. Uh, uh, this is a video of one of his performances. And then a year later, a whole different set of people in Seattle, because I got a job at Boeing, I was recruited out of engineering school to work on 747. And I liked that this is, uh, this part's true. Uh, I was, don't worry, I was very well supervised. Everything's cool, you can go on that plane, you'll be fine. But they, a different group of people said, you gotta enter this contest, and I did. And I, it's, Steven, I mean, I, I won. It was like, it was nothing. Uh, and uh, when I watched this film, uh, first of all, I get a little choked up because uh, you try it. And then the other thing, th th I'm not funny, man. I mean, sometimes I'm funny, as well as what? Anyone? Funny looking, yes. <laughs> so we, the guys I had met doing stand-up comedy at open mics recruited me to write jokes, and so then one week, we needed to fill six minutes. I mentioned this to you because, now this is the way I remember the story, when the so guy- You're doing a half hour comedy show and there's six minutes you haven't filled. Right. Which, which is an eternity. Kind of an eternity. A lot of viewers would be uh, inclined to change the channel. At that if six, there's nothing on for six yeah, minutes, yes. Yeah. Even with good music. Yes. Even with really Keep good- Keep in mind, only 22 minutes and a half an hour show. That's right. Six minutes of it, is nothing. The, nothing. So, the way I remember it, there was a gal named Rita Jenrette who canceled. And I the congresswoman's wife, who they had sex on the steps of the Capitol and he got swept up in abs cam? Yes. Wow. But the string, now Steve, he's, from, he's, the, he's the congressman from South Carolina. He was my congressman, that's why I remember. Go. Way to go, be proud, be proud. So, but this, here's the weird thing, the guy she was having sex with, do you remember this? Was her husband, I mean, that just seemed, do people do that? That seems so <laughs> troubling. Science anyway, is still checking that one out, Bill. She, <laughs> she canceled, so uh, Ross Schaefer, who was the host of the show, who went on to do other things in television, he said, you know, Bill, why don't you do that stuff you're always talking about, you're always talking about things you're doing. I was a young guy, you know, I was a United Way big brother for a while, and I also volunteered at the Pacific Science Center, which is a science museum style thing in Seattle, and pouring liquid nitrogen around. And I just always argued that I think liquid nitrogen is just inherently funny. And so we did the household uses of liquid nitrogen. But in one meeting, he says, you know, Bill, you could be like, um, you could be Bill Nye, the science guy or something. I gotta, I gotta go. He closed his briefcase and, he, and I went, wow, you know, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs>